there should be an attitude towards unclimbing the mountains. Everest has been climbed a thousand times. Why must we know that a thousand people have already climbed it? We go up there, it's a new mountain. I remember Lionel Terre, a Frenchman. I met him in Lyon in 1963, 62, after Everest, when I'd come back from Mount Everest, and I was in hospital in Lyon for frostbite, and he said, L'Everest n'intéresse plus personne. No one is interested in Mount Everest. That was 1962, a Frenchman saying so, and he was very wise, because at that time, mountains had not been climbed. Between 62 and 19, uh, 2015, I think every mountain has been climbed. So let's uh, restrain the publicity binge on what has been climbed. We can record it and you can have talks and lectures and people can talk about it and you can even have books on it. But the kind of garish publicity about mountain climbing, you know, pitons, pitons and tom-toms uh, all the time, I, I don't want to take names and I don't want to take examples. But there should be a self-imposed limitation through unclimbing, an attitude of unclimbing the mountains. You can't unclimb the mountains, but you can certainly keep them fresh. And the way to do that is not to make big publicity stunts out of them. No, I, I've suggested we must not erase records. The records should be there, documented. But they should not be the plaything of government servants and ambitious people who are not interested in nature or mountains or forests or tigers or snow leopards. They are interested in getting promotions by saying, hey, I climbed Mount Everest. You make me a commander. You make me a brigadier. Now, they, that was India has been doing that, but the British didn't do it. They did it very modestly. And the Europeans were even more modest about this because they, for them it was sheer adventure. And the Americans, of course, have again been very correct about this. We in India tend to make it too publicity conscious and too promotion conscious. As though something is something wonderful. If a person has climbed a mountain, he must be wonderful. Not necessarily. It depends on his integrity, upon his character, upon his various other abilities. So I don't say we should uh, abolish, ban or take away the documentation on, or record of mountains. It should be there in the libraries, but not necessarily in public fora or in government systems.